Welcome to Health Connection. I'm Chris Wogas with Kettering Health Network. And now we're talking with Dr. Krista Migliori. She's an orthopedic surgeon with Kettering Physician Network and practices here at Fort Hamilton Hospital. Thank you for being here, first of all. Thank you. Uh, we want to talk today about meniscus tears. It's something that I think happens quite often in sports medicine and, and, and just in general population. What exactly is a meniscus and what does it do in the knee? Well, a meniscus is a fibrocartilage ring inside your knee. You have one on each side of your knee between your thigh bone and your shin bone, and it kind of acts as a sort of a cushion, a shock absorber for the knee. And we commonly see it injured in people who are doing twisting type injuries, or if they step wrong and feel a pop in their knee, it, it could easily be a meniscus tear. We also see it in, in degenerative tears, people who have arthritis for a long-standing history of arthritis. So a lot of people deal with knee injuries and knee pain. Uh, what exactly are the symptoms of a meniscus tear and how is that different from a lot of the other injuries that you have in the knee? Sometimes you do not see swelling of the knee when you have a meniscus tear and that can fool a lot of people. They think that if they have a real injury inside the, the internal part of their knee that they have to have a big swollen knee like you would see with an ACL. But with a meniscus tear you sometimes don't have swelling. But what you typically present with is pain. Usually it's localized to either the inside or the outside of the knee, and it's sometimes people describe it as a sharp stab, like an ice pick being poked right in the inside of their knee, especially when they do twisting activities or if they're pivoting, squatting, and it seems to be a lot of people's problems, getting in and out of a car, or even sometimes at night when they're sleeping and they roll over, they can feel it on the inside of their knee as well. Is this something that goes away over time, or do you have to take action with a meniscus tear? Um, sometimes meniscus tears, I consider them like a rock in your shoe. Sometimes it bothers you where if there is a true tear and it's kind of flipped in your joint and you're feeling it, you, you notice pain and symptoms. You have clicking, popping, kind of catching type feeling of your knee. And other times, it, you don't have it at all. It's like when that piece is flipped out, just like a rock in a shoe. And so the problem with meniscus tears is that they do not heal on their own. The blood supply of the meniscus tends to be kind of poor, and the, only the peripheral edge or the peripheral one-third of a meniscus will heal. The rest of the tears, which is most of us have, are on the inner surface, and they do not heal. So do people walk around with these for a long time and just deal with them? Yeah, some people are asymptomatic with meniscus tears, and they don't have any kind of issues, and, and it doesn't seem to bother them. Other people have significant disability, and they can't do their activities of daily life. They feel like every step they take, they're, they're feeling that catch or that lock in their knee that is from the meniscus tear. If they don't have symptoms, if they're not dealing with pain, then what's the harm in leaving it the way it is? Some of the harm with leaving a meniscus tear is that, it, that the tear could potentially get bigger if you continue to do athletic activities on it or, or, or continue to do twisting injuries. You can make that tear bigger. And because the meniscus acts as a shock absorber or cushion of the knee, you can sometimes lead to some arthritic changes in your knee if you don't take care of a meniscus right away. So what do you do when someone is diagnosed with a meniscus tear? Sometimes people get better on their own with, with, with time, physical therapy, icing their knee, anti-inflammatories, and even sometimes we put a cortisone shot in their knee, and it tends to calm some people down, especially if it's just a small little tear. If they have a big tear where they're really symptomatic and that tear's got a big flap of piece that's coming in and out of the joint, and every time they take a step they feel it catch, then usually the best treatment for that is an arthroscopy, and we would go in and trim out that torn piece. To contact Dr. Miliori or any of our other Kettering Physician Network doctors, visit KetteringPhysicianNetwork.org. Be watching here for more Health Connection podcasts. Also sign up for the audio version on iTunes and check KetteringHealth.org. Thanks so much for being here again, Dr. Oh, no problem.